Hey adventure friends, it's a blustery day outside, but it's just perfect inside, so I'm going to take advantage of that and go ahead and do another modification on Curiosity. Now, we've had a few weeks together, and in that short period of time, we've already put a lift kit on and the tires. We've put our CB in and aerial, and we have now wired up uh, our ARB fridge that uh, we'll be installing for, the tr for our trip. So, while I was doing the lift kit, I had to take off the plastic balance that's under the front bumper here and found that what it hides is your sway bar disconnect and all that's between your sway bar disconnect and a big rock is a very thin piece of metal or the plastic if you don't take that off. Um, so it's very lightly protected if you want to even call it that. So I went ahead and ordered a skid plate from more off-road to help alleviate that problem so that I can rest easy knowing that I'm not going to take that thing out uh, un <laughs> out in the rocks. So I'm going to show you how we're going to do that right now. This is a little hard to see, but this is a sway bar disconnect for the JL. And this is all that's protecting it from taking a, an impact from a rock. And it may not, I mean, it's possible. It may not be likely, but it's possible. And I don't want to find out the hard way. So we have a new skid plate that will take the place of this and, and protect that. So that's what we're putting on today. And here's our skid plate. Mountain Off-Road Enterprises 3 16th inch steel skid plate. Uh, this does come with an option to put the plastic balance back on with uh, this but I don't know why anybody would do that. I for sure am not going to do that. Uh, but it is an option if you choose to, to do so. Uh, what I did like about this was that it's usable with most bumpers. Um, it, it tucks up nicely behind uh, the current bumper and out of the way. There's, there's a lot of op options out on the market that are built into the, the specific bumper that you buy. Right now I'm not even 100% sure which bumper we're going to put on Curiosity. So this was the best option for us. And for under $200, it was, you know, in my opinion, quite affordable for what it is too. So that's, that's why I chose this one. And now it's time to get this on there finally and get one more thing off the checklist. All right, so we're going to take off these two factory bolts to remove this dust cover. That's at best it's good for. Once those two bolts are out, you give it a good whack and it's going to pop right out of there to reveal the sway bar disconnect. And you can see how it's not well protected. So we'll put in the new skid plate, reuse the factory bolts, but do not tighten these yet. We, got, we want to get these side ones in first. And once these side ones are in and tightened down, then we'll go ahead and tighten up the front and tighten all four bolts at once. And once you have that done, it's it. Four bolts is all that holds that thing in there and you're protected, it looks good, and it's ready to take on any trail you wanna throw at it. Thanks for watching and please come back soon to see where Curiosity will take us next.